Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a Design Zero with a brand new video. Now, I know it's been a while since I did my previous tutorial, but we are back and uh, ready to go. This is going to be a tutorial in Adobe CC 2018, so uh, make sure you do have it updated um, because the feature we're going to be working on or learning about is the symmetry tool. And uh, this is something that I've been uh, wanting for a while because it allows you to pretty much use like a tablet or even just your mouse to draw on one side of um, the canvas and it will duplicate on the other side. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to enable it and then we can start doing um, some tests. So the settings will be a bit different uh, depending on if you're on Windows or Mac, but it should be pretty straightforward. So if you're on Mac, you can just go to Photoshop CC on the top left uh, of the, the menu and then go to preferences. Now go to the bottom and you can see technology previews, click on that and you'll see enable paint symmetry and that's basically the symmetry tool. Enable that and then we can just click OK. Now you will see uh, a new icon that shows up on the top menu bar um, and that kind of looks like a butterfly with like a line in between and that's just indicating the separation or the, the mirror effect that the symmetry tool allows you to do. And uh, if you select it, you have the option of selecting vertical, horizontal, dual axis, diagonal, uh, wavy, and uh, some other uh, options as well. And I haven't tried all of them, but we will go through a few and uh, see what they do. So we have a layer uh, right here. You can just unlock it if you want. Um, and then just go to your brush tool. Then we can just choose any brush, um, go to the brush panel, and uh, let's just select. So I have this um, brush selected and um, select your size, opacity, smoothing and customize your brush the way you want it. Click on the symmetry tool now and uh, it says symmetry off now but if you select let's say the new vertical symmetry you'll see this um, horizontal or vertical line show up and right now it's at a certain length and uh, if I just click OK or um, hit enter then we can start to draw on one side and it will duplicate on the other. So that's a pretty cool feature if you um, struggle to create ident identical design on either side. So this tool is basically mirroring one side to the other and uh, you can um, choose horizontal as well. If you want to do horizontal designs like this, you can uh, draw on the top or the bottom and then it will duplicate exactly the same on the other side. So right now, obviously I'm not doing a great job at uh, drawing and showing you the example, but um, you get the idea of what this tool can do and uh, we'll play around with some of the uh, other features like wavy I've never tried this but I'm pretty sure it can do some pretty cool stuff so right now I'm just like I don't know what I'm doing it's I guess it's like creating a wave I'm gonna quickly try out the other ones a uh, new spiral all right so honestly I'm not sure how much I would be using these other uh, spiral and circle wavy um, symmetrical tools but I'm sure some of you guys are pretty creative you might be able to use these and create some pretty cool uh, artwork but I personally would be using vertical and horizontal most likely and uh, that's pretty much it um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more and have learned something new in this tutorial leave a like also leave a comment uh, give me some feedback on what you guys want to see and I'll see you guys next time peace out